All right, so I, I brought the stuff out here to kind of see the distance and the depth allow how much you know, room they would have here with their money and placing their bets. And then I sat over there on my side also to see if I liked the dealing area. So I think this is about where I'm gonna put it right here. If you look at the distance for the shoe, the discard rack, we've got our chip tray. Um, I like I like the 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 distance it is on the actual playing surface. So you got room to put your bets. I've got room to reach over here. If you see, I can reach the bets pretty good. So from here, you know, I'm I'd be scooted up here and I can reach the bets to to pay to collect. I could reach the shoe. So I kind of like this right here. Um, okay. So you can see I don't have to reach too far on the table. They don't have to reach super far, but I cut it big enough where they have room to keep their their money on there. So yeah, I, I think this is good right here. I could reach everything, discard it. So, all right. Now I'm just gonna get it, make sure that it's even on both sides and then make sure that that side right there is level on the back. So let me just measure here to see what, what the dimensions are. That's what you just from the, from the back. This one's on 12, so I get a little bit So let's see. All right, oh, 12 and quarters here. I don't know if you see what I'm doing. Yeah, you can see. 12, just tap it one that way. It should be pretty good there. Very good. Okay. All right, let's see how that looks. All right, that's pretty dang close there. Maybe one or two sixteenths off, but naked eye ain't gonna see that. So let's see what we got here from the fold. I need to pull this side down just a turn. Okay. Okay, that was good. <laughs> Three and a half. <sighs> All right, just a tad bit this way. Okay. All right, I think we're good there. <sighs> All right, guys, I'm gonna shut the camera off and I'm gonna do some stapling. All right, I guess you could watch me staple a couple. I've got a little bit of staple. So let's see here. Try to pull it tight this way. staples got my iced tea I finished stapling around the edges so let's take a look at that I'm gonna cut so you can kind of see the staples there <clears throat> I'm gonna cut some of the excess off and then I'm going to actually tuck it under and, and staple it down but that's what it's gonna look like right there guys I actually really like it I like the distance here that gives the players enough room to put stuff on before they place their bets so all right that's what it's looking like now I'm gonna tuck it under and I'll show you again here in a second all right I just finished measuring this out and marking the lines here I don't know if you guys can see it or not so I measured it to make sure it was going to be centered. So it's going to roughly be, I don't know, probably like that. Be right in that area there. Once I cut it out. Now what I'm going to do, if you could see here, it's got this piece that's cut. 
So what I was gonna do is I was gonna do like an X like that. That way these pieces right here would flop under and I can just staple them down in here. But instead I'm gonna cut me out a piece here like this in the middle, like that. And then I'm still, so there'll be a, a square missing right here from inside this bigger square. And then I'm gonna just slice here, here, here and here. So I still have flaps that could tuck under and get stapled here. But I'm gonna have a nice piece of straightened material that I'll be able to cover this with and uh, glue it down. So that's what I'm gonna do next. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the end piece, inside piece of material that's gonna go over this. Um, see how it goes. Okay, so remember this is just the inside. I still need to cut all of this for the tray, but I figured I'd use a decent piece of cloth for this right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, glue this down and then I'm gonna have to do something. Well, I don't know, we'll see how it looks. It's gonna look kind of weird with that patch there but it'll look better than having it open like that. So we'll get that glue down and then we actually just put a, because uh, I think if I cover it with an iron on, you won't see this patch and I'll just do like a big let it roll or something there. So then you won't even see this anymore. And then it'll, I think it'll be stuck down better too for the cards for when people slide their card. Well, the people aren't gonna need to slide their cards there. So either way, it should be okay. Um, but for 40 bucks, I was willing to, they had to cut out a casino. There was a casino written there. So they had to cut the casino logo out of it is what they said. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and cut this. That way I can saw, use the jigsaw to cut the hole for, for the money. So, all right, I'll be back in a second. Okay, so you guys can see, I basically just, I'm tucking these under so I can get a straight cut for, yeah, where I'm gonna put the, the money um, holder thing, the chip holder. So I'm gonna tuck these under. And then I actually have these flaps. These flaps that I'm tucking under are actually going to get stapled into the hole once I make the hole. So I'm just drilling the corners real quick and then I'm gonna go ahead and use the jigsaw. I actually got room here. I'll just leave it right there. 
you guys see what I'm doing there? Okay, yeah, you can see pretty good. Okay, holes are drilled. Now I just gotta do the cut and we'll drop in that, that, uh, the coin dispenser. All right, you can see the mess that I made. I'm gonna have to clean that up. But I figured this was an easy way to do it. So the chip rack is gonna go in here now. So it'll sit like that on the table. And like I said, I cut those things and I tucked them under here. So now I can actually pull this down tight and I'm gonna go ahead and staple these. And you can see here this also. So these will get pulled down tight here. All of these little flaps that I left. <clears throat> so yeah, so these will actually get pulled down tight and stapled and then the rack will go in there like that. So let's clean it up and then I'll give you another look. All right, so I got it cleaned up pretty good. Now I just need to tighten this thing again by pulling these in and, and stapling them down. So that's what I need to do now. And of course, you really aren't going to see this too much. It's not bad, actually. It's fairly tight. But uh, this is actually going to be covered by the uh, chip tray. So so of course I need to get under and I need to cut some of this excess from under there. But that's actually not too bad. Okay, there's hardly any wrinkles. I don't see really anything now. So last thing is to drop this in and then we'll take it into the game room and take a look. Okay, so still need to wipe down a little bit, but that's kind of a quick look at, you know, before I do all the final touches on it. playable now that's for sure so I'm thinking about actually cutting another hole like I did there right here so I can make it a handle because my uh my thoughts are that uh I'm just gonna leave it like this as a tabletop for those of you that have seen my game room know I have limited space so I'm just going to set this on top of one of the other tables that are in there instead of making it a full table by itself um, and leaving it up because I have very limited room. So that's what I'm thinking anyways, maybe putting a handle over there. I should probably do it now if I'm going to do it. I would do the same thing, leave some, some, uh, some um, material so I could tack it down on the inside, but then I could move it by myself. You'll see what I'm talking about in a minute. Once we get into the game room, I'll show you how I'm gonna use it in my game room, so. All right, we're getting close. Oh, I was gonna say, I, uh, I, you could put legs on it, like this old table that I have it on. I have like about five of those old tables, so I could take off some of the folding legs from that 
and actually put them on this if I wanted to. But there again, I mean, for some people that would be a, a great plan. But for me, once I show you my game room, you'll understand why I'm gonna leave it just as a tabletop and use a table I already have in there so I could save space for me. So, all right, let's take it into the game room and we'll take a quick look at what it's gonna look like in there. Okay, let's see how this is gonna look. You can see here, I'm gonna use this table and this thing's pretty heavy. So I don't need to do a handle. I just realized I could use this, but you'll see why I'm talking about just using this table instead of building legs and everything. Well, of course you could see my game room, how, how packed it is already. So I figured I would just use this table to actually play on. It is sturdy. Okay, so once I get it all adjusted, right there. Okay, so let's see here. I could push it a little bit that way. All right. And then I have just little things to do. Like I said, I'm gonna have to glue this down. I'll glue that down. And then I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, I'm gonna do a test to see what it would look like with, uh, with um, some iron-ons in here. I have some of the extra felt that I cut. I'm gonna do an iron-on on those to see how it takes and uh, go from there. But even at that, even if I didn't do any iron-ons, I mean, it's, it's ready to play if you guys wanna take a look at it. So for those of you that came here to see just the blackjack table build. This was an old room I've turned into like my personal video game room. Just a quick rundown. I got a lot of work to do. It was my old garage. So you could see I got floor work to do still. I've redone all the walls already, but I need to do the ceiling stuff. Um, but you can see here how small it is. It's, you know, it's fairly small. I got my craps table over there. Um, so like I said, for those of you that came in seeing the blackjack table build and like blackjack, I actually have a, a, a gambling channel where I play um, live craps, live roulette, and live blackjack at, the, at a real casino. But I also like to have fun and just do things, you know, uh, at home. So I, I do videos from home. So back to the blackjack. This is what it's looking like right here. And this is where I'll be playing blackjack from. When you watch my blackjack videos from home, if I do strategies or if I just play along with people. Also, if anybody likes to play blackjack, um, I'd be willing to do some live blackjack. I'll probably do something like this as far as the view when I'm filming. Um, like I said, we'll see what it is. And then you can watch, watch me play. But... At this point, it's ready to roll. I could start playing now. But like I said, I'm really considering doing something with these. So uh, I probably will. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign off now and mess with that real quick to see if I like what it looks like with an iron on. But here's a, here's a look at it for right now. That's what it's looking like right now, so. All right, guys. Oh, and uh, I'll do a final recap, too, right before I finish the video of, like, what it cost me to make. So, all right. See you guys soon. All right, guys. So here's the finale right here. I um, wasn't able to do the iron-ons. I tried to do an iron-on, and it wouldn't stick to this material. So I'm going to end up keeping the, the lips, which actually it's, it's not too bad. When I ordered it, I was kind of not liking it. I was like, oh, I'll try and change it by doing iron on or something. But actually it's not, not too bad, honestly. So this is the finished product here. So the total it cost me, let's see here. If we're just talking the actual build, okay. I had already purchased the chips um, and everything. So the felt cost me, I think it was like 
$37 or something. I bought it off of somebody on eBay. This part right here was uh, cut out because it had a casino in there. I guess they didn't want to send it with that. So I just took a piece of the cloth that I cut from under the chip tray and I glued it down with the material. So it looks okay and it's not really too much in the way. Um, so the, the actual table felt was, I think it was 30, 34 or 36. I can't remember actually, I'll have to look it up. Um, I'll, I'll post a picture of it actually, so you'll know. And then the wood was $23, about 25 with tax. Um, the chip tray was, I think 13. So let me see here. 36. 60, 75. Um, then the underlayment, you saw me, I used like a little blanket that was five bucks. So 80 bucks. So the, the wood, the underlayment, the felt, and the chip tray was about $80. I didn't put any legs or anything on it. So if you wanted to spend extra and if you wanted to put like a bumper, bumper around it, you can do that. Mine is mainly going to be because I'm going to film videos. So really, this is all anybody's going to see when I'm filming anyways. So it don't need to be anything super special over here, like on the front edges and stuff, because this is the view that they're going to see anyways. So um, overall, I mean, basically 80 bucks. And if you have another table, you could set the wood on. You've got yourself a blackjack table. Otherwise, you could build you a frame for it if you want or buy you some of the folding chair leg, not folding chair, but folding legs, folding table legs. And, um, you know, you're you're in business. But anyways, guys, that's it. That's uh, it's all done and it's going to get some use now. So make sure to keep an eye on my channel. And uh, on Wednesdays, I'll be doing some blackjack, possibly even doing some live. If you guys feel like playing, stop into my channel. And, and if I have a spot or two open, because I think I'm going to do like two, two live players. And then if I have somebody else playing with me, you know, I'll do one for sure. And uh, possibly two, three, once I get better, because I'm a rookie. So, all right, guys, let's get a final look at it. That's the final look at the table right there. And thanks for watching, guys.